Today we're going to create a simple widget to demonstrate how the UI and controller can make calls to the server script. In this example, we'll have a simple list to which you can add or remove messages. I've already prepared a simple form we can use. Let's get started. First, let's create an empty server-side array that we can store our messages in. Now let's add a data binding to the input box using ng-model. Let's set it to c.data.message. Next, let's add the ng-click to the button so we can do something with our message. We'll call the function add. Alright, so now let's test this with console.log to make sure the add function is getting called. Ok great, that works. Now let's use the server.update method to call the server script. With server.update, whatever is on data will automatically become input in the server script. We can pass information to the server script by simply placing it on data. In this case, we'll call it addMessage and pass the value from our input. You have to also remember to unset the value within the callback function so that it only executes once. So now, on the server side, we can check for add message on input and add the message to the end of our array. Let's move over to the HTML and add the ng repeat so we can loop over our messages in the array. If we have done all this correctly, we should now be able to add messages to our list. Cool. Looks like that worked. To remove messages, we'll need to add an ng click and pass in the numeric index to the remove method. Now we can create the remove method on the controller. Just as before, we'll create a property called remove message on data. Now for the server side. We can use the numeric index to splice the message from the array. All right, let's test it out. Cool, that looks good. Now to finish it off, let's just add a quick message for when the array is empty.
All right, and there you have it. Now you can see how the client side can interact with the server script. Thanks for watching.